You've talked about how physical okay. your writing process is. The one thing you haven't done is a workout video. So I'm thinking of calling it <laughs> talking your way out of a few pounds with Aaron Sorkin. <laughs> right? Let's do it together. You got to do All it. All right. All right, here's how excited I was to Zoom with Aaron Sorkin, even though it was only four minutes. And this might make me sound like a bad wife, so don't judge. Um, my husband actually had back surgery yesterday. He's currently in the hospital. Surgery went great. He's doing fine. I was there all day yesterday. But he's being discharged today. And I said, not before 1030, you're not, because I'm Zooming with Aaron Sorkin at 10. Somebody I've never interviewed, so <laughs> hopefully he's okay. No, he's, he's okay. But I hope you enjoy my interview with the screenwriter behind some of my favorite films of all time. Uh, and this is no exception. His new movie is called The Trial of the Chicago 7. It's one of the best things I've seen all year. And I hope you enjoy my four minutes with Aaron Sorgan. Uh, Aaron, what a pleasure. I'm sweating. I'm so excited. I, I can't even well, tell Tara, you. Well, Tara, it's great to talk to you. <laughs> I've got so many questions. I know we don't have a ton of time. Um, I remember hearing that when Steven Spielberg first asked you to write this, you called your father and, and tried to get a little background on what had happened in 1968. I, I know, sadly, your dad isn't with us anymore. But what of your father is in this movie? Uh, a, a lot. Uh, you find my father in, in William Consular, uh, uh, the, the lead defense counsel who Mark Rylance is playing. But you're right. When I It was 14 years ago. Steven Spielberg asked me to come to his house on a Saturday morning uh, to say, I want to make a movie about the Chicago 7. Uh, and I want you to write it. And I said, that sounds like a great idea. I'm in. And as soon as I left his house, I had to call my father and say, Dad, who were the Chicago 7? Um, uh, I didn't know anything about it. I was saying yes to a movie with Steven Spielberg uh, right. the way anyone would. So I had to give myself an education, including the 21,000 page trial transcript. <laughs> yeah. I, you know, and it's interesting because you are so busy. Your mind is always working, even though this this whole crazy pandemic has basically forced us into a timeout. I don't know if it has done that for you. I mean, can you ever relax and take a break ever? Listen, um, I think that most people would happily trade their problems for mine. Um, so I, I just can't complain about anything. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, you know, being, being a writer, um, uh, I, I, I spend most of my time by myself, uh, uh, working. Uh, so it hasn't interrupted that. Obviously it's interrupted, uh, film and television production. Mm -hmm. And I had a play on Broadway, which, uh, like all plays, all theaters has been shut mm -hmm. down since March 13th. So I feel bad for all the people who work in our theater uh, uh, who are out of work, all the people who work in every theater who are out of work. Yeah, yeah my heart aches for them as well. I'm a huge theater fan. Um, in your films, obviously, especially in this one, every actor, every role is just incredible. If I, I know you started out wanting to act. If you actually were still into acting and you could have your pick of playing any of these guys, which role would you have sought? Well, I to be clear, um, I, I would have been bad playing any role uh, in this movie, just to be very clear. Uh, okay. But uh, I'm, again, I'm always partial to the, to the rumpled defense lawyer. Um, uh, so I'd have wanted to play counselor. Well, I'll tell you what, if you were in it and you were bad, you would have been supported by a ton of great actors. So maybe it would have been overlooked. No question about it. When I got to work every morning, I felt like I was getting tossed the keys to a Formula One race car. And all I had to do was not put the car in the wall and these guys were going to win the race. You know, I wasn't surprised at all that everybody was fantastic in this. Obviously, you expect great performances. We got great performances. But the actor who impacted me the most, honestly, was Yaya. I was Yaya Vilmatin. Oh, I was enthralled every time he was on camera. Was there an actor that also surprised? Yeah, I was going to say. Um, uh, Yaya is a guy uh, who everybody's getting to know him now. But uh, he, when we cast him, he was an actor just a few years out of Yale. Brilliant guy, phenomenal actor. And uh, the, when, when I saw, I, he didn't have to audition. I just looked at a, a reel uh, uh, of his work. And what impressed me the most was the power that he had when he was completely still. 
And I knew that that was going to be important for those face-offs with the judge. Well, what's so incredible, and I don't want to give too much away, there are scenes where he conveys so many different emotions and doesn't open his mouth. Yeah. I, I just, and I'm always just stunned by actors who can pull that off. Me too. Uh, uh, me too. They're incredibly valuable. Um, and uh, the audience is going to see for themselves Yaya Abdul-Mateen, okay. as well as the rest of the phenomenal cast, Sasha and Jeremy and Joe Levitt and Frank Langell and uh, Michael Keaton, everybody. I know they're wrapping me quickly. Your daughter, I'm very close to my dad. Um, your daughter, out of all of your films, what's her favorite? Oh, you know, um, she likes the social network uh, a, a lot. Um, and uh, tonight she's going to see Chicago 7, so we'll see how she likes oh. that. She's going to love it. I, I don't have many good ideas, but the last thing I'll leave you with, here's my idea for you. You've talked about how physical okay. your writing process is. The one thing you haven't done is a workout video. So I'm thinking of calling it <laughs> talking, talking your way out of a few pounds with Aaron Sorkin. Right? Let's do it together. You got to do All it. Right. You got to oh, I'll be off to the side. All right. <laughs>